What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a Live the Dream Cube Draft on Magic Online, which we have been having quite a bit of success and and fun with. Did you grade set as a whole? No, I never. I've never done. I've never done such things. But um, yeah, check out NordVPN.org/slash/FrankLapore. You can get sixty-eight percent off a two-year subscription along with one month free. It's a great way to support the channel. And it's a great way to get a sweet security solution for all your internet browsing activity. NordVPN.org slash Frank Lepore. They are a sponsor of the stream. As well as Manatraders.com. You can find the link below with the promo code for 20% off the first three months of any subscription on Magic Online, which is pretty awesome. Uh, how much for a non-Phantom Cube draft? Well, that doesn't exist. So, priceless. Absolutely priceless. Um, I kind of just want to take Tropical Island. This just pack. This isn't impressive, and if I do want to go Life Gain, I really don't want Viscopa Guild Mage to start us off. I mean, I'd rather take Doubling Season than Parallel Lives, because it also triggers on Planeswalkers. But then I'd also rather just take Tropical Island. I'm gonna take the Doubling Season. We did a Tokens deck the other day, and it was pretty sweet, but. I do kind of like branching out and not drafting the same archetype over and over. Voracious Great Shark, Elite Guild Mage, Mardu Triome, Reflecting Pool, Tireless Tracker gets us double the, double the treasures, double the fun. Why did I put it in the sideboard? I keep putting things in the sideboard because I keep thinking it's stupid arena. It's really confusing. I'll take tracker. Um, I also do want to air towards planeswalkers because like doubling season? I think we'll take Advent of the Worm. That seems good. That just seems good in general. It is good. I love it. I got it at Ross. Momentary blink, no, unexpectedly absent. It's just Angel of Sanctions. This card's great, and if you embalm it, I mean, I'm impressed with this card in, in Vintage Cube, so I'm pretty much also okay with it in this cube. And the doggies are looking quite adorable today, with their little haircuts and their little bandanas. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. Um, pretty sure it's actually just Marsh Flats here. It's double triggers for Tireless Tracker. It lets us pick up uh, shock and dual lands. Hmm. I mean, Seed Guardian makes a token when it dies. It's probably the most on brand card in this pack, other than like Mana Confluence, which I don't think we actually need just yet. We could be Abzan or we could be Bant. Kitchen Finks does work poorly with doubling season. <laughs> uh, put two negative one, negative one counters on it. Okay. Well. Okay. I think whether Euro is too good is a great question going forward. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Ooh, a scrubby boy. Scrubberino. I think it's just Scrubberino. I mean, Nicol Bolas is pretty sweet. Any plans to do something with your channel points? Not really, no. I, I just, I haven't even considered it, and I just, I don't know if the upside is high enough. Like, I have no idea what to do with them. Sundering Growth? Populates. Uh, oh, Crystalline Crawler enters battlefield with a 1-1 one -one counter for each color mana spent on it. I mean, it's kind of perfect for this deck, right? Plus it lets us cast random shit? Alright, sure, what the hell.
Actually, the um the set review we stopped it at around uh, five hours and twenty minutes of being live. So for some reason I thought it was five twenty, and I went in the kitchen. It was like four fifty, and I was like, wait, what? Why is it only four fifty? Is this clock wrong? Did the clock break? And I was like, oh, it's not actually five twenty. That's just how long we were doing it for. Um. This is good for the counter strategy, but so is doubling season. All right, we'll take this guy. I don't think we're in a position where like we care about tragic slip or Viscopa Guild Mage. So, a lot of four drops though. Definitely taking any on color signet pretty highly. Uh, Savai Triumph is pretty decent, especially if we do want to play the black cards. It's two colors. This guy's also pretty good. I'll take Bridge Rangers. Uh, wow, well, nothing here. That's good. Okay, I'll just take this guy. Knowledge Exploitation. Hmm. This does let us be Naya, because we can pay two green green. Hmm. Slick. Oh, Ronus's last stand is finally decent with doubling season. You make two five fours. Overgrown Tomb? Okay. Burden Catacomb? Okay. Um, nothing token or counter based in this pack, really. Burden Catacomb gets Scrubland and a Forest. So it gets both our colors. Overgrown Tomb has a color that we might not even be. It doesn't get white. I think it's just Verdant Catacombs here. Modern Cube's back tomorrow? I didn't I did not see that. Wow, Scrublands, Martial Arts, and Godless Shrine. I mean I checked the calendar and the Magic Online calendar said nothing. Tomorrow it said Zendikar events started. Oh, it does say modern. Now it says modern cube. It says Modern Cube starts one day. Zendikar Rising events begin on Thursday. That's weird. Three weeks of Modern Cube? Wait, one, two. Two weeks at the very least? Nope, three weeks. Oh, God. How do I balance Zendikar and Modern Cube? Jeez. Elvish Visionary seems good. Palace Jailer is bananas. Uh, No Venser because we have no way to be blue. But, I mean, God, Venser might come back. I don't want to... Like, oh, all our mana is skewed towards literal non-blue. So I'm going to take Palace Jailer because it's just busted bananas insane. Anointed Procession, but we don't actually have to make counters. It still seems good. It still seems like a very, very deliberate build around. And Vivian Monsters Advocate also seems great here. Doubling Season into Vivian gives her six counters and, uh, and then eight counters and two beasts. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's either Vivian or it's Anointed Procession. I think it's Vivian. Ugh. Uh, Rex Sage actually seems great. There's a Banishing Light and an O-Ring in the same pack, but I think I like having this effect in the main deck more than I like having a, a pretty replaceable uh, 
O-ring effect. Isolated Chapel? I mean, like, jeez. We have, like, Scrub, Marsh, Isolated Chapel, Verdant Catacombs. Like, our, our, if we want to splash anything black, it's just very easy to do. Eh, Wooded Foothills doesn't get anything yet, but any green source is good. Righteous Confluence, create three knights. Exile enchantments or gain five. Hmm. I do wish it was an instant, not a sorcery, but such is life. Honored Hydra could be fine if we can just get it in the graveyard. He can double link season it. Entreat the Angels? God, we just keep taking Entreat the Angels. We have no two drops right now. Yeah, we're just taking Entreat because it just wins the game sometimes. Uh, Karmic Guide. Uh, so creature, technically Entreat could be a two. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I mean, is this a Galta here? <laughs> Could also be Runescar Demon. One, two, three, four. Nah, I'm just taking Karma Guide. Being able to get back like Palace Jailer or MEL or Honor Hydra seems good. Uh, True Conviction is scary. Somber Old Sage is pretty decent. It lets us ramp into, like, Hydra, Angel, Karma Guide. Uh, Settle the Wreckage is probably just better, right? God the Shrine again? Sure. 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 I mean, we're definitely set up for black mana. Um, I guess final parting is fine. We can put a creature in the graveyard, then karma guide it back. You know, if we play that. Which I don't think we will. Uh, search library for a legendary permanent card with permanent cost less than Sissy's power. Uh, okay, let me just take Garrick's Uprising. Mm -hmm. Guardian Project is fine. Oh, Mystic. Oh, Righteous Confluence came back. That's kind of cool. I'm really glad we have another pack because I don't feel like our deck is very good yet. Yeah, we can just put Hydra in the graveyard. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We could search for, like, Angel of Sanctions and put Hydra in the graveyard and then just cast it from the graveyard. What a time to be alive. Crested Sun Mare. I like a Crested Sun Mare a lot. You know what else I like? Probably Avacyn's Pilgrim. I also like Elspeth Conqueror's Death, but like I feel like one of the five drops is worse in our deck right now than one than just an Avacyn's Pilgrim. First pick Avacyn's Pilgrim, guys. Synthetic Boros singing here. Necromancy actually seems good. Yeah, I'm gonna take Necromancy. Chromatic Lantern? Hmm. Hmm. Knight of the White Orchid, also an option. Spitting Image, also an option with Doubling Season. So I think it's Knight, Image, or a Lantern.
Yeah, Orchid might come back, maybe. I think it's Spitting Image here. I think it's just a very, very powerful top end card. I think Wingmate Rock is good. I think Savannah is also real good, and that probably fixes our man. I'm going to take the Savannah. I don't think we need any more five drops here. Savannah for Rob. Yeah. Good old Robert. Wow, Bruna and Gisela in the same pack. That's just really sad. I think it's actually still Bruna. We have Karmic Guide, which is an angel, Angel of Sanctions, Palace Jailer, which is a human. I think it's actually Bruna here. Plus the Gisela might come back. Bruna is more impressive on its own. Gisela is more just a pretty pretty plain Jane. I think it's face fetters here. We don't have one of these and we pass quite a few effects like this. Angelic Ascension is cute with doubling season, but it's that's pretty much all it's good with. If you have 40 or more life, you win the game. Wow. I kind of just want this as a 4-6 Vigilance Lifelinker. Which I don't think is terrible. Oh, that's true. If we just gained 15 with Righteous Confluence. You're not wrong. Is there anything in here that we don't... Guardian Project's still pretty good, right? It lets you draw a card every time you cast a card that literally doesn't share a name. Like, so every card. Scoured Barons. Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw's a fine two-drop. Helm of the Host. Oh, man. That's actually pretty interesting in the doubling season deck. But are we the doubling season deck? I'm just taking Helm here. I think it's just I think it's just too strong. It's just too good. Um none of these cards are super impressive. Draw a card, activate this ability to create a token this turn. You know what? I'll take this. Doomed Necromancer. Sure. Blessed Alliance also gained four. Mm. Rocks Faith Mender. Man, now we have like a sub life theme, right? <gasps> oh, yes. Live that dream. Love it. Night didn't come back? What night? Oh, the night of the way I've heard. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, Gisela and Bruna. I'm gonna take out Crystalline Crawler because I just don't care about it. I just don't care about you, Crystalline Crawler. I kind of want Rock's Faith, Faith Mender. Like, how many cards gain us life? Let's figure that out. Felidar Sovereign. Uh, no. Yes, you. Face Fetters. Gisela's got Lifelink, right? Yes, okay, okay. No, 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 no. And you, but I don't even think you're making the cut. 
Okay, Rock Space Miner is a pretty easy cut, I guess. This puts us to 23. Oh, uh, I don't know if we have that much token gen is the thing. I mean, token generation... You... You, but I think we... Uh, you, maybe you if you die, so you're kind of a maybe. Maybe you if we embalm you. 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 Same with you. And same with you. These are all... These are the ones that we can we can actually control most of the time, and these are the ones that are just like maybes. I mean, we don't have that much. It's only like five cards that I know we can actively trigger. Whereas like this is expensive, or you draw you draw it at the right time. This these have to be in the graveyard, and this guy has to die. So I mean, you don't have to cut anything. We're at twenty three right now. I think necromancy is good. Also, I do wish we had. Uh, fewer black green land, black black white lands that we're not getting a ton of value out of because we only have one black card in necromancy. Garrick's uprising, I don't think is that good. I don't think we have that many. Oh, I'm really excited about the Gisela Brune interaction though. Is Icarus look any good here? Neg three, neg three. And we can cycle it. I might just want to play... Oh, we can put Gisela in the graveyard and burn it in the hand? That's ex that's exciting. And we also have one, two, three, four, five, seven black sources. Oh, I kind of like the final parting tech. I mean, is Guardian Project too cute? We already have Tireless Tracker for card draw. It is inventory night, my dudes. I think Necromancy's fine. We're going to make anything from any graveyard. Like, I think that's just... How did Seed Guardian get up here? I thought we were playing this guy. Oh, I think I just accidentally took him out. I think this is good. Doubling season even that good? Yeah, it's gotta be decent, right? Thank you. Works with this, works with this. Again, like sometimes you Old Man Silver, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I mean this whole format seems light on two drops. I feel like doubling season isn't even a card we really care about. I'm gonna build the sickest mill deck and have you play it. I'll do it. I'll play that. I'll mill the shit out of some people, bro. I'm really tempted to take doubling season out and just play like Icarus Slick as like another removal spell. I think I like that better. Advent with doubling season so good. Vivian with doubling season so good. Getting multiple Angel of Sanctions, multiple Honor. Ah, it seems too good though, right? I agree. Dang it. <sighs> All right, I'll keep it in. Nope, not Necromancy. Necromancy's good. We'll play your Slick. Okay, I want to add one Swamp. Yep. No, none of this. Six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No. 5, 6, 7, 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8, 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm actually going to go one more. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, 9. 
And I get one more? All right, we'll add one more white back. Excuse me, this is the dream cube, not the let's be a little more consistent and less dirtily cube. Touche. Uh, I'll keep. Would anyone notice if the mayo order went up 75%? Yes, my boss and I would definitely notice. Understood. <laughs> oh, Lord. How many times do we have to combine Giselle and Bruno to make this deck successful no matter the record? One. One time is the answer. Well, we do need some some things. If we can just hit lands forever, we're okay, maybe. Oh, man, I wish I had oh, I wish I had this specific signet. Oh, we're doing it. Any land and any four drop is now good, so I'm okay with that. And we have a lot of both of those. Thoughts on what I should do with 100,000 channel points? Uh-huh. Well, it's a valid question. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Okay. Good times. Everything is all right. Draw lands. Cast my spells. Hmm. What can you do? Oh, good. Oh, goody. I think we've already lost. Okay. Oh, I'm not dead yet. I think I'd rather have a second black than a second green here because... Uh, let's just cast final parting and second green is probably going to be pretty easy to find. Give me this stupid thing. Uh, yeah, you know, I will use that ability. I'll start here and work my way up. Buddy, I think you got a long road ahead of you. Oh, good. They got a oblivion thing. Well, that's nice. If we can draw land land, that'd be pretty sweet because then we can go final parting. Put Giselle in the graveyard. Put Brizella, Brizella in my hand. Oh, if it's just that guy. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's just grab a land. So you're just going to put a card put into your hand. Maybe we just get like a, like a land here. Oh my god, Watson is snoring so loud right now. I also kind of like Rex Sage. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can put three counters on this, but we have to get rid of doubling season, I think. Ooh, we can recur with Karmic Guide. Oh, I like that. There's a lot of options here. Hmm. 
What's the upside out of sight option? Uptime out of sight. Put a card in your hand. I think we're putting Rex Sage in hand, Giselle in the graveyard. Yeah, that seems better. Oh, what up, Arctic Avenger? Welcome back. Six, seven. Okay. So. Oh, do we risk it for the biscuit? I feel like we're due for a land. God. I'm doing it. I'm living the dream. One time, one time. Ah, oh, the dream is dead. The dream died. So they put counters on this guy? Sure. I mean, we could also get rid of their Oblivion Ring, get our Angel back, and then just get rid of Walking Blista, and then it just comes into play and dies. I, it really depends on how scared we are of Oblivion Ring. So, so pretty, pretty scared. I think I said scared of Oblivion Ring, I meant doubling season. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's snowing? Who saw that coming? I think we're going to scoop it up right now. This guy comes in, but this guy populates, and uh, that's pretty good. They can also untap next turn, put two counters on this. We'll put one counter on this. No, put two. They got two. Kill. Yeah. It's the exact same card. Oh, good times. Yep, okay. So. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Cell seems like it could be good here, actually. Helm of the Host seems a little bit uh, greedy. Today I discover a channel is banned? Man, took you a while. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Come on, land. I don't feel great about this deck. It's a feeling I have. Oh, that was actually pretty good, because next turn we can play tracker and still uh, play a land post tracker if we draw one. Which is kind of nice. Which means they'll probably walking ballista for two and kill this guy. They didn't. Wow, I'm feeling good about things. Well, not great anymore, but that's okay. Missed the land drop, guys. And that's okay, they're going to counter this guy anyway. They didn't. Okay, we're. Everything's happening. I don't know what's going on. Okay, land? That's a land. Um Do I want to face fetters here? Probably not. I'm a lumberjack and it's okay. I'll attack you for three. I mean we're not gonna play anything, so we might as well just crack this now. Okay. Hopefully there's another land on top, because otherwise, pff, not great. Oh my god, these dogs are being wonderful. They're perfect little angels. Look at them. Look at them. I'm going to get walking ballista. 
You ready? It's all simulacrum. Okay. Uh, no blocks. Come on, land. Oh, don't don't do me dirty. Love it. Love it. But they did not do me dirty. You do love to see it. Hmm. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Vivianos. Ooh, land on top. Love it. I love to see it. Let's give it trample. No, let's give it bidge. I value having blockers that can still attack more than I have like a couple points in. <sighs> okay. I mean, we knew that guy was coming, right? You got field of the dead us? Good gravy. Hmm. Wait. Wait. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. At some point, can we can we negative Vivian? Cast Bruna. Search for Gisela. Put them both into play. That seems just marvelous. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's exciting. A double block here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So we do need to hit one land. I don't think this is the best card. Like, I don't care about this. We have other things to do this turn. So I'm just going to sack this. Um, I want a second black. Oh. So that'll do it next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six mana, but we're not going to cast any of the five drops or this. So we, we just really need to. Uh, we know we're drawing this. Let's see what's on top. Because if we can play like a, a three or four drop from the top. Oh, doubling season, huh? Okay. I'll just create a vigilance guy. Sharing the same dream. That's a good jam. And our hearts still beat as one. Bivy and Reed on the run. I'm just going to necromancy here because we still have Karmic Guide in hand. Ooh, final parting on the top, you say? I right, did this. Played the land, sure. I feel like we're in good shape. They do have seven cards, but... What could they possibly have that gets rid of our board position right now? Let's be real. Come on. Absolutely nothing, right? There's no way.
quiet. Yeah, I know, right? What's, what, what's worse that could happen? Ah, it's actually not too bad. Considering I'm going to get a uh, Flying First Strike Vigilance Life like 9-10. God, I hope they don't get rid of that. Can you imagine? You're going down by the way I use my walk and my walking man. Okay, so we're going to cast Bruno. We don't have anything in the graveyard there, right? So we just kind of want to slam with all these things. Probably just these three. God, with no, no graveyard value, is it even worth it? Take it. Fascinating. Oh, they can't actually cast spells with mana cost three or less, so their removal has to be four or more. So they can't Oblivion Ring it or Banishing Light it. It should be twice as big on screen. I agree with you. It should be this size on the board. Uh, okay. Yeah, you got it. So they have three mana, so nothing they can cast right now is castable. So they're just... How are they not just dead, dead Brazilla? Whatever you're trying to do right now will not work. <laughs> they figured it out. And let's go to game three. The Doge has reach, but I have face fetters, so... This thing is huge. Nine ten. Is it an Eldrazi? Oh, it's an Eldrazi Angel. An Eldrangel, if you will. It's an elf anyway. Was that what does that mean? <laughs> is that relevant? Is that pro elves? That'd be cool. I also had 15, I had 19 life here, plus 10, so 28 life, so if I did draw Felidar Guardian, we just win the game, right? Did you bring any sub nuggets? That just sounds weird. <sighs> Sand seems rough, but we are on the draw. And what are we really expecting that's better? I'll keep it. Avacyn's Pilgrim off the top, followed by a land. Come on. Okay. Okay. That is actually decent. We got Palace Jailer and Settle and Face Fetters. Whew. Not bad, not bad. 
And they just haven't played anything yet? No Signet? Oh no! Why do you do this? Whatever they play here, we can Palace Jailer and just start drawing two cards a turn. That's pretty wild. Solemn Simulacrum? Nothing? Good grief. Okay, you got it. Whew. That's pretty good. I mean, Palace Jeller is pretty sweet against that guy, so. They never get it back, even if they become the Monarch. The Monarch! And we also have Necromancy to get our Palace Jeller back if they kill it. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Don't like that. So if we exile the worm, they become the thing with the Brago. I think again, we have to try to hit lands here, which is really unfortunate because we never hit them. God, it's so annoying, dude. I guess they don't have more than us anyway, so. Yep. I don't want to settle because they have Field of the Dead. That's pretty bad. I mean, they've missed a couple land drops as well, so they're probably getting a Solemn. Wow, this game seemed great when we both had like four lands and no plays. Following it up with Worm into Brago seems pretty bad for us. Theoretically, we could have Palace Jailer gotten rid of Worm, but I don't think we're ever going to win this game if we just make them the Monarch the following turn, thanks to Brago. Caribbean Queen is a difficult song to get out of your head. Okay, still no lands. This actually seems okay. We take five, but which is actually just one. So we go to seven. Next turn we can Palace Jail of the Worm if they play Solemn Simulacrum. We can also hit a land on the top. So not terrible. Or they can just Sundering Growth it and make a copy of their worm. Yep, that's probably all I need to see. Let's go to game. Let's go to match the next match. Yep. Okay.
God, this whole format is like four and five drops. So I'll keep because we're on. I mean, like we, like we only have th a couple, a couple three drops we could hit, and one Avicen's Pilgrim to help us get to these. Okay, so now we can get a. Well, I guess we can get a green source, but I'd still rather... I don't know if it's black source or green source. Okay, so now we can get a Savannah. Man, I wish one of these cards cost three mana. Okay, so two five color decks in a row. That's fascinating. I do want to crack this now because I really don't want to get any more mana. I don't want to get any mana. Horseman survives. Horseman dies. Okay. Well, that was a heartless act. Man. Feels Batman. I guess we got Karmic Guide. And then we can blink Karmic Guide too. Well that's kinda nifty. This is the dawning of the age of the Karmic Guide. How's Mike's car? Still not fixed. So no, no change. Mm, okay, we'll let it, we'll let it go for now. See, that's interesting. I only have three cards in hand, and I have seven mana. Uh, no, he's been using my car to get to work. Aquarium. How do I get to work? It's rough. <whistles> oh, what are you putting in here? Oh, 
This is actually a tough choice. Like I've, I had, I had a really hard time picking two cards, one for the graveyard, one for the hand. So I assume they will similarly have a tough choice. Uh, Necro might be good. We also have Karma Guide again, so we can Necro Karma Guide to get a thing back if it's ours. See the truth. Do they just Snapcaster see the truth? That's kind of funny. Not that they've done it yet, but. Hunter! Hunter's getting aggressive. You can probably see a kid on a, on, a, on a bike or like a dog or a squirrel outside. Okay, so they didn't play anything. Oh, I like that. They're just taking 10 here? Oh, I don't have a second. Oh, I don't have a second black for that. <gasps> That's awkward. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Okay. Ten damage to my face. It's a little frightening. We're at 15. Can they cast that again and then fork it? God, I really worry they can. I worry they're going to be like, cast a card from your graveyard. Explosion Expansion. Oh, no, they just can't. Actually, Explosion Expansion can't copy that. I'm gonna submit like this. I don't think any of these cards are actually like it's irrelevant. Mm, three drops good? Yeah, sure, I'll keep this hand. I went to six. Basically one already. The Hunter Bork is actually a rare one. He's usually very quiet. Or usually get one of these jobbies. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, only one boy in the bed with his long legs hanging out the back. <laughs> oh, little man. Wallace, you're too pure for this world, buddy.
And next turn we got a horse into an angel. I turned my horse into an angel. Oh, we got a Felidar Guardian on top. I feel like I feel like I never hit lands when this guy is in play, but if there's like a Corsair crew fix, I'm always hitting lands. It's very strange. I don't think I've hit one land off of this guy. That guy could be big. See? Still no land. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. All right, well. What are you doing, Chief? Are you going Oh, I got you. Hello, sir. Oh, oh God. What are you doing, little walls? One, two, three, four, five. This is a nine mana. I assume it's an explosion expansion. For five? Sure. What are you doing? What's happening? Huh? Where are you going? You gonna leave? Okay, you can get out of here. Okay, bud. Still no land off the top. This is wild. Do you plan to stream the Outer Worlds expansion? Um, I don't know. I did not plan to, but maybe. I didn't even know it was... Okay, I didn't even know it was a thing. I haven't even played the Fallen Order expansion, which I actually really want to. Okay, you got your Roshin Meander back. Sounds good. There's a lot of borking going on, guys. Whole lot of borking going on. Land on top? I mean, I guess I should be grateful I haven't hit a land in so many turns, but I'm not really. Because... You know, reasons. All right, let's pass. Face feathers. We can spitting image this guy. They don't actually have more lands than us now, though, so it doesn't really matter. I think it's just funny that there hasn't been one, you know? Seems good. What are we top decking? Face fetters? Sure. Oh boy. Well, a land on the top now would be decent because we get to play either one of these. Okay, that's pretty good. Land? Hey, that's pretty good. Let's play a Felidar Guardian here.
Also, Bruna getting back Angel of Sanctions is pretty good. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, they don't have like ten, they don't have enough for um, Searing Blaze, so we're not like super concerned with that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven mana card that they're copying. Okay, Electrodominance for five to the face. So this is ten. Yep, and they get to play two spells from their hand. Yep. Okay, one is a Heartless Act. And that is a Kess. Give Daddy a little Kess! One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's play Bruna here. And we'll get back Angel. And yeah, we're definitely taking Kess. I don't want you to have access to all these cards again. In the home California sun. Snapcaster, fight with flame. Get rid of sanctions, sure. Fight with fire, rather. Yeah, I don't think copying it really does anything here, but sure. Okay. And then Heartless Act. Yep, this is pretty good. Yep. Oh, boy. Now, hey, look, all, look at all the lands we've got. Definitely saving the land in hand for spitting image. We don't need more than seven lands with this deck. I agree. Opponents do need to stop having stuff. Collective Brutality for two. Okay, that's interesting. What? Oh boy, we're having a good time. Doggies being loud. Okay, no attacks. Okay. 
Okay, so they're just anticipating here. Doggies, be quiet! Be quiet! Doggies! Okay, I know. You're real excited. Oh, chromatic lantern, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's still two mana off. Searing winds is ten, right? Okay, a lot of lands. A lot of lands. Let's look it up. It's nine. Five, six, seven. So they we kind of have to get rid of this now. Uh, choose a creature. This one. Two, three, four, five, six. Stop! You're being ridiculous. Man, Angel of Sanctions doing some heavy lifting here. And we're putting them to nine here, which means they have to have an answer or they're dead. And they don't have, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So any land only puts them to eight. Whereas we're trying to avoid Searing Wind here, which is nine mana and deals ten damage to us. I have to assume it's in their hand because like they haven't, they've, they've just been holding hand, holding cards this whole game with like eight mana. That's true, we are in the middle of a pandemic and everyone's got their dogs barking, so. Chaos Warp on this one. Okay, we get a 6-6, six, six, but now they can play Chaos Warp on something else. Or Collective Brutality, which doesn't do anything. They can Finale for 2, which is actually pretty nuts. Yeah, that sucks. Wow, that's really bad. That's fucking terrible. Chaos Warp is a really good draw. Oh, they're doing something. Oh, it's not like toughness, not casting cost? Oh, that makes me feel much better. Wow, that's great. Okay. I thought it was casting cost, so they can get rid of both angels. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. What did we hit? Righteous Confluence. What is, wait, what does Chaos Warp say? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well. Hmm. I mean, we still get to just knock... Are they just dead? No, they, got, they go to one? Oh, boy. Hold up, hold up. We have two mana. Does that do anything? Can we snapcast or anything? No. could have rushed they didn't even see it yeah this cube's hard man i don't give anybody any 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 slack for like messing up spinning image doesn't copy any of these to really great effect we just have to get rid of the kess i'm pretty sure no oh, oh god um 
So we call this, okay, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They still have eight mana. Which means if they hit a land, they just get to kill us with Searing, right? Sick. This is nine, and they just block with Snap. That's so bad. We can't give them Kest, though, right? Because they just Kest and do nonsense. Ugh, this is so frustrating. That's frustrating. Uh, these are not these are not five C's. These are not copies. These are copies of a token which has zero power or zero tough zero converted mana cost. <sighs> yep, there it is. All right. Well, cannot tap his nine mana fast enough. But yeah, I mean they can. They're going very slowly because they have chromatic lantern so they actually have to yep amazing cool <sighs> really frustrating I mean, Icar doesn't kill anything on the board except for <laughs> Snapcaster Mage. It doesn't keep... Ro you keep asking me about Icar, Shoe Gardener. But, like, it doesn't kill anything. It literally doesn't kill... Uh, it doesn't kill Varsheen Manor. It doesn't kill Kess. It kills none of their creatures. Shelldock Isle, too? Jeez. Come on, land. I'm going to miss a land drop. I know it. Because the best part of Tireless Tracker is one land begets another. Like, you just... You're able to play a land, crack the clue, find another land. But if we don't hit a land, it's very good. It is very good. Oh man, Palace Jailer with Helm of the Host? Oof. Roshin Meander. Haha, <laughs> that's so good for us, dude. Palace Jailer just gets to steal this dude. And like their their odds of hitting us with combat damage to become the monarch is so low right now. Oh, that's very good. How many monarchs can we become? So next turn we can go final parting, put Gisela in the graveyard and get something else. Uh, it doesn't stack in the sense that you can't be the monarch more than once. People always love killing Palace Jailer and thinking that they get their, get their creature back. Um, that seems really good for us because now we can put it on Palace Jailer and just take another one. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy.
Everybody come on into the red zone. We only get one shiny hat. You can't have more than one hat. And like again, killing the palace jailers doesn't actually get back the creatures. They have to actually deal this combat damage. They're also at seven, so they're dead on board. Are they going to final offering toughness for all three? Yeah, they're definitely final. I don't know if it's final offering, final finale of eternity, whatever it's called. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still the monarch. I'm still the monarch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I kind of just want to put Giselle in the in the graveyard somehow. But we can't. Isn't that sad? Oh, I guess we don't have to. I guess we can just cast it and then play Bruna next turn, right? Like, that's also fine. I also don't really want to draw more cards because of Sheldock Isle, so. Oh man, if these flip and then we go Helm, oh boy. Uh, what is the trigger at the end of this round? Are we getting end step? Sure. Oh, they're going to five? Hmm. I have an intrigue. Is this fight with fire? Kicked? No, that wouldn't make any sense. I guess it would. You can go three here and... Oh, expansion? Oh. Sure. I'm not drawing a card because I don't want them to hit. Oh, they've also taken ten more minutes than we have. Which is pretty wild. Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a thing. <sighs> I'm out of juice. Whenever you take a sip out of one of these and they're empty, you're just like, oh, it's like a mouthful of air. It's really uh, not ideal. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. That seems fine. Yes, we definitely could have uh, ha ha could have had two Eldrazi angels. Send me Eldrazi angels right now. This is actually a pretty good curve. I mean, like I'll go three, four, five. I mean, now we won't go three apparently, but okay. I guess we'll go four, four, five, four, five, six. Both of these, huh? Nigh, nice win. Oh, with Rex Sage. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a valuable thing. This is why we do it. And then we can necromancy this dude. Oof. Yeah, kill it. Put it in the trash can. Oh, Mimic Vat? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't care about this guy more than I care about this guy, and if this guy can hit a free land this turn, I'm game for that, bro. Oh, and I get to search because I don't want to draw this? Yeah, I'm game for that, too. Savannah. Oh, Spitting Image next turn? Oh, to copy Rex Sage and kill the Vat? Oh my god, we're living the dream. Have I already asked if you've ever seen the movie Rad? You know, because of the song. Uh, I don't think I've seen Rad. I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to kill my guy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty wild. That's a yikes for me, dog. Hmm, 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 hmm. One, two, three, four. Let's play this. Copy you. I mean, they're going to put this under there. So they're going to bring it back, but then we get to we get to wreck Sage in the graveyard for necromancy, so that's fine. Because I assume they're putting Noxious Gear Hulk under there. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the Thanks for the wreck Sage nerd. Where's that clip? Oh, you will put a clip. I got you. Oh my god, how old is this clip? Search Shark Opponent's library for a card. Exile it face down. Sure. You got it. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that's pretty good. Nope, let's not do that. Let's. Oh, it's actually we. Yeah, we're still good. I still want to use these. One, two, three. Uh, necromancy. Oh, I got. I got to pay a black actually. So I'm a big idiot. Boop, boop, boop. Necromancy. Get back, Recky boy. Kill this thing. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would like to use that. All right. I mean, we have sp spitting image in the graveyard, which is real good. Just call me Levinson in the morning, baby. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. So they're going to kill our Rex Sage with this. But then we get to instantly play Advent of the Worm and then become the monarch or we get to play oh we just get to play spitting image <gasps> oh whatever they're doing I don't care oh wow advent of the worm is going to be so OP right now sure Oh, Karmic Guide, just in case. Bro, can I be the Monarch, please? Let me be the Monarch. And what are we getting rid of? So we gain life. Yeah, this guy's fine. Their palace chiller doesn't do anything now, so I'd rather get rid of the guy that actually has an onboard effect that's really good. Oh, every every land we draw is just a spitting image. 
Well, that's pretty good. They only have two cards in hand, which I'm okay with personally. Um, I want to keep a Palace Jailer on the board. For purposes of splitting, spitting image. Unicorn got it. Oh my god. Quiet down, you... Quiet down, you kids. And Fiend Artisan. Sure. So we can Karma Guide Palace Jailer now? I don't know. I'm no expert, but that seems really good. Oh. I do have to tap my mana. Oh, dang it. I gotta tap my mana correctly. My manus. Fly me to... What is this? X? X and a tap? I mean, we're definitely getting rid of this guy because I, I, like, they have to have another creature for this. And they're in top deck mode. Man, being the monarch is rough. Oh, boy. Things are happening. Glint sleeve. So now they can actually sack this for one, two, three, four, five, five, five. No, not a five, five, but a five cost creature. <laughs> and that's what they're doing. Fly me to the moon. Guys, I'm sorry about the dogs. Oh god, they're so angry. Archangel of Thune. One, two, three, four, five. We have two left over. I'm not paying for that. Um. Okay, so we can just keep spitting imaging right like <laughs> is this really like how do they beat this I'm just gonna pitch bird in catacombs okay <laughs> oh spitting image on palace jailer is not a thing you should be able to do in any magic format Oh man. Is this any graveyard? Your graveyard. I'm going to keep this. I'll get a verdant. Getting a Godless Shrine here is actually pretty fine. And we do kind of want to maximize our chances to draw cheaper creatures. Avacyn's Pilgrim? Face Feathers, okay. Three drop. Tireless Tracker. Something. That's a five drop. Okay, so they missed the land drop, and we hit our land drop. Okay, sure. 
I mean, we're just going to play Palace Jailer on that. But we get to be the monarch. That's pretty cool. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards next turn. So we get to play a thing, play a seed guardian. And they just conceded. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget nordvpn.org slash You get 68% off plus a free month. It's a great way to support the channel. Also, manatraders.com. 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.